Microsoft buys Blizzard and Activision, while Pokemon Legends Arceus has leaked online. Let's babble on about that. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Andrew and holy crap we've got some stuff to talk about. Oh my gosh I can't even get over what's been happening the last couple of days. I wasn't originally going to make a video because I knew everyone was going to be making a video on it but I had to just get my opinion out there and talk a little bit about it. Uh, I still just can't get over the fact that Microsoft is just absolutely out here buying up studios left and right and then to buy up this one with this giant accusation that's been going on this huge lawsuit and everything like that. Fingers crossed our good friend Philip Spencer comes in there, cleans house. Well, we're learning more about the situation on hand, but before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like the dang video, subscribe for the channel for more, and let's dive right into the first little bit that I want to talk about today. So real quick, I'm gonna be reading an article from The Verge. This is by Tom Warren. He goes on to say, Microsoft is acquiring Activision, the troubled publisher of Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, and Diablo. The deal will value Activision at $68.7 billion for in excess of the $26 billion Microsoft paid to acquire LinkedIn in 2016. Microsoft's biggest push into gaming and the company says it will be the third largest gaming company by revenue behind Tencent and Sony once the deal closes. Microsoft plans to add many of Activision's games to Xbox Game Pass once the deal closes. With the acquisition of Activision, Microsoft will soon publish franchises like Warcraft, Diablo, Overwatch, Call of Duty, and Candy Rush. Candy Crush, my bad. Upon close, we will offer as many Activision Blizzard games as we can within Xbox Game Pass and PC Game Pass, both new titles and games from Activision Blizzard's incredible catalog, says Microsoft CEO of gaming Phil Spencer. Xbox Game Pass now has 25 million subscribers as Microsoft continues to acquire studios to boost the subscription service. The article continues to go on with another quote by CEO Satya Nadella, I do apologize for butchering that. We're investing deeply in world-class content, community, and the cloud to usher in a new era of gaming that puts players and creators first and makes gaming safe, inclusive, and accessible to all. Yeah, uh, you definitely need to kind of talk a little bit about that because the workers there at Activision Blizzard have definitely not been feeling safe at all. If you guys aren't familiar or aware, there's been a lot of horrible things happening with their good old uh, manager Bobby at the helm, and uh, I'm really, really hoping that with this new uh, accusation, acquiring of the two companies Microsoft can kind of come in and clean house and I know that they were talking about you know doing that and stuff like that and Bobby is going to be gone once the deal is finalized which is absolutely fantastic because he was at the head of all of it like with just the misconduct and everything like that and I just still it just saddens me that there are still people out there defending these a-holes it just it boggles my mind that you would even remotely think that you know these allegations of sexual misconduct are lies or they're false or whatever just just go shut up just just stop you're stupid you're annoying no one likes you you're stupid get over it but i'm just glad to see you know phil spencer's coming in stepping in cleaning house you know kind of just doing all this but my question though is this going to be good for video games because you know having microsoft owning so many of these big things now like bethesda you know they bought and they're all going to be you know exclusive now to game pass and to just xbox and now you have you know all these different franchises call of duty diablo world of warcraft you know anything that's under that umbrella is now going to be on xbox and i mean i know you know world of warcraft and stuff like that's always been on pc stuff like that so are we gonna be able to play these now on excuse me are we gonna be able to play these games now on our Xbox? Because that'd be really cool. I know my wife really loves World of Warcraft. She used to play it all the time. So if she could play it on her Xbox now, instead of us having like a super duped up PC, which I know you don't need that to necessarily play World of Warcraft, but we don't really have that. So get you play it on the Xbox coming soon? Because that'd be really cool. And especially if it's gonna be on Game Pass, how's that gonna work with all the different subscriptions and all that stuff? I don't know. This is all exciting stuff. It's huge. Uh, the fact as well that, you know, Crash Bandicoot is going to be on the Xbox exclusively now because I remember growing up, that was Sony's boy. Crash Bandicoot was Sony's big, you know, mascot in a way. Like, they, to me, it was always Sega had Sonic, Nintendo had Mario, and then I remember Sony always having Spyro and Crash Bandicoot. 
but now he's not there. He's over hanging out on the Xbox with Master Chief, and that's just absolutely wild to me. Like, a piece of my childhood feels like it's not even real anymore, because it's just so weird. I don't know. But again, is this good for the video game world? Like, we want different competition. We, we want to have the three companies that have these different games and stuff like that. But now it's kind of starting to sound like Microsoft's slowly becoming a gosh dang monopoly out here buying studios left and right. I know Sony's doing the same thing. Even Nintendo's doing the same thing too. But I don't know, it's gonna get to a point where Microsoft's gonna own so much that there's not really gonna be much left. I don't know, what are your thoughts and opinions on this whole accusation? I keep saying accusation. Acquiring, <laughs> how do you feel about Microsoft acquiring these studios come on down below comment let me know give me your opinions and stuff like that but we're gonna move on over to pokemon legends arceus leaking all over the dang old place so this is an article that i pulled from ign written by jared moore Ahead of its January 28 release date, a number of leaked gameplay and story elements from Nintendo's upcoming Pokemon Legends Arceus have been cropping up online. For those of you looking to head into the game spoiler free, you may want to stray away from social media, at least until the initial storm presses. Asses. I cannot read today. While Nintendo has been relatively quick in its attempt to take down images that contain copyrighted material for Pokemon Legends Arceus, many screenshots from throughout the game are still currently doing the rounds online. Unlike previous Pokemon leaks, the most recent wave of content appears to have come from boxed retail versions of the game as opposed to digital review copies. Photographs of a number of players holding copies of the game have begun popping up on social media over the last 24 hours alongside a number of screenshots of the game itself. While we won't be sharing exact details pertaining to the content that has been leaked itself, Twitter user Stealth40k get a rundown of what you should look to avoid. According to Stealth, the list of features include the game's opening movie, new Pokemon, and well, pretty much everything else that you would want to be ruined. So I'm going to stop there because I don't want to be ruined. I have all this muted on Twitter. Every single thing involving Pokemon, Game Freak, Ilka, Pokemon Legends, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Pokemon Legends, just Arceus, etc, etc. This game is coming out very soon. The game looks amazing to me. I can't wait to play it. I read a few things that might be spoilerish. I'm not going to mention them in this video, but I'm kind of upset that I did read them before I realized that they were potential spoilers and leaks. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not happy. I hate this. I feel like we live in a world where everything is spoiled for us now. Everything is leaked. Everything is shown beforehand. There's no surprises anymore in media. And this can go into movies and everything like that. Case in point. Spider-Man No Way Home. It would have been so much cooler to have seen Doc Ock and all these other villains appear on the big screen as opposed to in the trailers, you know? Or they could have even, going back even further to, to Avengers Civil War, they should have never shown Spider-Man. You know, they, there's all these different things. Everybody wants everything right now. Nobody has patience anymore. Nobody wants to wait for these things. The game comes out next week. You know, I'm recording this on 119 2022 the game comes out next week. Okay, can you guys chill out? Just wait. You don't need to show off that you have the game before everybody else. No one cares at all. I mean, you're giving me a reason to make a YouTube video. So thank you. I appreciate that. But at the same time, nobody cares, man. You you're ruining a lot for a lot of people. And it's it's starting to kind of really piss me off. But Hey, how do you feel about those Legends Arceus rumors, leaks, all those different things popping up all over the internet? Are you staying away from them? Are you trying to look at them? Are you interested at all? Because I'll tell you right now, I am trying to stay as far away from possible. But that wraps up everything I wanted to talk about today. We're going to be doing an in-depth dive into both of these on our uh, Twitch channel. We do a Twitch live stream every Thursday at 9 p.m. I'm going to kind of just peep that real quick. So twitch.tv slash Babylon Gaming, we do the uh, Babblecast every Thursday at 8 p.m. I'm sorry, it was 9 p.m. before, but we changed it to 8 p.m. Central Time. So if you want to know more about what we think about video games, head on over there to twitch.tv slash Babylon Gaming every Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Time. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like I said earlier, like the dang video, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.